No chill, no filter. <laughs>
it started <laughs> off, it was more so, a, you know, he got a lot of fans and shit. So when it started off, it was all QP body him or I ain't even watched the first dude and shit like that. Like, that's shit you got to go through when you battle bigger names and shit. But right. with Clean, I know Clean. Like, or I'll say Clean, when he battled QP, that was probably about three years ago, not four years ago. They Now they tight, you know, thick as thieves or whatever. But when they... That's around the time I met Clean when he started doing the cartel battles and then he eventually joined cartel. So, you know, we kick it on a personal level too. Like when he in Milwaukee, even if he ain't got a battle, he hit me up. I meet him at the hotel, we get out here, you know what I'm saying, smoke, all that kind of shit, hit a club. Right. So he was a cool dude. And then when he came here for our battle, I had to I literally kicked it with the nigga into the battle. So I really didn't get to practice like that. Like I wanted to. Right. But it was still like I was I was ready. Cause oh, okay. we were supposed to battle prior. And it didn't go down, so I kind of had some bars already. So when he came to town, he came on like a Friday and we battled Sunday. He was with me until we got to the battle, like every <laughs> night, all day. Like, <laughs> oh, the battle that y'all... Yeah, so we kicked, it the, we kicked it the whole weekend and days after that. like he, he was here probably like a few weeks after the battle. He stayed here. Well, you wouldn't have you wouldn't have thought that because right. the way y'all was going at it, that's looked like y'all was at each other head. That's because I know clean, bro. <laughs> right, clean right. Is, Clean a cool nigga, but when them cameras cut on, he don't know you. It it's don't rap. matter how cool yeah, y'all is. That's good. He'll throw you under the bus. He gonna do all that. Right. So it's like, I'm the same type of nigga. Like, if it's business, it's business. It's showtime, it's showtime. So I was able to kick it with him like that and understand that once we got on that stage, it ain't no friends until we both done rapping. So For sure. I just kept it like that and didn't let the friendship thing get in the... I ain't cutting, I ain't edit no bars out, nothing. I was like... No, you getting all this shit. <laughs> and you don't even know it. I'm looking at him like, you don't even know. I'm going to go crazy on you, nigga. Right, right. Well, I mean, you know, honestly, you got to come in with that mentality, though. You can't come in like, oh, man, dude is, dude is pretty cool, man. So I don't yeah. want to, you know what I'm saying... Right, that's why. It. No, you got to come in like dog. I'm finna cut this nigga head off, right. man, and take a squat. You know what I'm saying? On yeah, this, yeah on that's this why thump. I be wanting to go first a lot too. Right. A lot of it, whatever worked for a battle rapper worked for them, but for me, it worked for me to go first because when a person rapping, you listening to what they saying, mm -hmm. you might want to rebuttal or explain some shit they didn't broke down and they around, and it might fuck force you to fuck up. So, with that situation, I always be like, I know what I got. I know what I got to do, and I set their expectations higher than they might even come. Like, right, he's going right. to be the craziest clean he ever been, so <laughs> let me go first, and let me get my shit out the way, and see if he can top that. So that's pretty much my angle with battles now. When I take right. a battle, I know what I can do, and I know my shit fires, so it'd be right. like, fuck that, let me start it all. Let me get the charisma. Let me top that. Like, right, do it right. like that. So if you slacking... I didn't slack, so that's how I, I like approaching my battles now. Right. Well, I was definitely looking for that the example against Bricks. You know what I'm saying? You did come kind of like nonchalantly. You you yeah. wasn't you wasn't as aggressive as right. you was with Clean. You know what I'm saying? Right. You was kind of like, uh, this is just one of those things where I'm going to, you know, I'm gonna show up, but I ain't gonna show out too much. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it, but trust me, you got off. But like I said, after seeing that that clean paper battle, I mean, it's just to a point where I'm expecting a level of you, right. you know what I'm saying, where you, you kind of set the bar for me that's like, okay, well, when dude come through, I already know it's going to be, you know what I'm saying, that's why right. when dude pulled up and I saw him, I didn't know, I didn't know who he was, and you know, I said a couple things to him, you know what I'm saying, outside, outside the battle, and then they said you was battling him off top, I was like, oh, he a dead man, because he don't <laughs> look like he know nothing, right. He don't look like he don't look like he cold at all. Man, but like a season though. Woo! <laughs> hey, look, like I said, man, you know, I, I put that all in the in the in the recap. You know, I mean I, I let it be known, you know, I'm I keep it all the way one hundred. You know, this is an unbiased set. I'm not right. against or for nobody. I'm right. for everybody. You know what I'm saying? I, I right. show love for everybody, but I still gotta give my no chill, no filter, you know what I'm saying, opinion on right. everything. So speaking of no chill, no filter opinions, man, let's speak on battles. So I heard that um, you you were uh, supposed to have battle cat boy, but what happened? Oh, uh, it was a situation where um, we was set the battle it was a cartel versus cartel battle. Um, I think he was just joining cartel around that time or like right before that he had joined. So with our battle, it was more like cat boy one of the one of the first niggas doing it here and did held his level for a minute. Like right. when battle rap first started, you name like the five six first battle rappers to even come out of Milwaukee, he wanted them. So, and I'm a huge fan of Cap. Yeah, so it was like, that battle, I was like, yeah, I want to do it because 
he hadn't battled in a while, and I know he got bars, but I'm like, I ain't scared of nobody. And I'm like, <laughs> nigga, I'll fuck you up. So that's how that battle ended up happening. He was like, man, I'm going to kill you. And I was like, no, I got too much shit, too many angles. I had the fat boy jokes. I had the schemes. I had right. the personals. Like, it was going to be a good battle. But um, around that time, I was on probation. Back on it again. But <laughs> around that time, I was on probation. So I was working at um, Menards. I had a little part-time job. Mm -hmm. And I was working there with Chris Kane. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, on lunch break and shit like that, I really don't talk to new people and all that kind of shit. I don't meet a lot of new people unless it's like people who like, oh, okay, I seen your battle, well, then we get cool like that, but I don't just meet people. Right. So he's the only person I really conversated with at work besides the females. And around lunchtime one day, I think I was spitting my bars or whatever for the Catboy battle. Mm -hmm. And he called Catboy and gave him a warning like, hey, he going to get personal, he, he got pictures. Huh? He who? Me and Chris Kane. Me oh. and Chris Kane talking at lunchtime. <laughs> I'm spitting my bars. He's spitting some bars. And that was an upcoming battle. And he basically called Catboy with a warning. So Catboy was like, I ain't doing the battle. Like, mm -hmm. like I, I now went to that nigga house. I went to Catboy house like, bro, we not going <laughs> to battle. I said, we not going to battle. At least let me hear what you had and I'll let you hear what I had. Right. So we sat there. It was like 6 in the morning, 7 in the morning I popped up on it. We sitting over there, we spitting our bars, and um, I'm like, okay, that would have been a nice battle, but he's like, no, I ain't doing it. Uh -huh. So I'm, I'm hitting up John, I'm like, John, what up, man, see if you can get him to do the battle, man. Tell him I ain't going to do the personal shit, and woo-woo, like, <laughs> we could not get him to do that battle. What? I thought he was going to do it last minute, and I showed up, and he, he still ain't coming. People came in, I said, we're capped. They was like, the oh. battle rap bully? <laughs> what, man? Hey, man, are you serious? Hey, I got us, man. I'ma holler at you. As a matter of fact, this evening, you ain't gonna even see this. You ain't gonna even see this vlog yet. I'm talking <laughs> to you tonight, bro. I don't like that. As a matter of fact, you owe this man a battle. I promise you. I, I got no, to I see that. I can't battle Cap no more. What? We, what? What you mean? We, we too cool. It's, oh, it wouldn't even. It'd be like I wouldn't even know where to take it with Cap. Like I'd rather use the bar. Cause with Cap, you got to give it your A game. Yeah, you, you know. Get, uh, I'd of rather course. use that shit on. I'd rather <laughs> use that on a uh, name. Oh, okay. This shit I'm gonna have to use for him. I feel you. We basically came to that point, like after the um, we didn't do the battle or whatever. We ended up doing a whole CD together, Big and Pop. Oh. So we ended up doing some work and shit, and then we did the tag battle right after that. We did um, me and Catboy versus Killer B and Showstopper, first Milwaukee tag battle. Wait, wait, wait! I ain't seen nothing like that. First Milwaukee tag battle. It probably was the. I ain't seen another tag battle before ours. If you want to be honest. Is it out now? It, it that battle been out four years, three, four years. Under who? Cartel, Syndicate Cartel, the, I'm the example that. in Catboy versus Killer B and Showstopper. That was the first tag battle. And I get Killer B and Showstopper a lot of props because I feel me and Cat won the battle. We had like our bars, our material was way crazier, but they unity. They uh, the yeah, ones who yeah. get NWX like that, honestly. Really? Like, NWX, like watch the Killer B and Showstopper before. And then see if you can find a battle older than that to where you've seen some tag team unity like that or even a tag team battle. Right. Them niggas. And when the battle was over, I was like, man, fuck them niggas. Them niggas live together. Like, <laughs> the way they was living, it was like the Wayne brothers. He said something. He finished it off. It was, so, yeah, them, they them had, niggas, they so had niggas in the bunk beds. They in the bunk beds. Like, okay, yeah. no, I'm going to say this and you don't yeah, say that. Right. Yeah, they had, the, they had way more <laughs> unity in their battle. With me and Catboy, it was like, okay, you busy, I'm busy. You write a half a first round, I write a half a second. You write a half a second, I write a half a third. And in the third round, we just going to freestyle and rev these niggas. Oh. And that's what we did. So if you check the battle out, it's bars on yeah, top gotta, of bars yeah, all over out. the place. And in the third round, I had some little personal shit. So we just freestyled around the personal shit. I had props and shit. So right. I, I made sure I put on the show. The show. So, and, and you know what? Just to piggyback on something right fast, man. You and Chris Kane, man. What what was the situation with that? Why y'all, I mean, was y'all supposed to be battling? Did you have, you, you ain't never battled Chris Kane, Never. Okay, so what was the situation with that, man? Man, Chris Kane, just Chris Kane. Yeah, he I know that. <laughs> he, I, I guess he felt like, you know what I'm saying, he was an older nigga and Catboy an older nigga in the battle rap game, and I was slightly newer, a few years newer, so I don't know, it probably was a thing like that, like, man, I fuck with Cap, I'm finna tell him. Like, some, I don't know what it was, but the ironic thing is, like, when I first start battling, I was trying to battle Chris Kane. Mm -hmm. Like, what up, ooh, ooh, he said, nigga, holla at me when you got five battles. I got 35 now. How many you got? <laughs> <laughs> I got like 35 battles right now on and the, footage. And the ones I saw was off the hook. 
And then that's why I like when I like when people that don't know me or the other battle rapper personally, I like when they watch the battles. Right. Every when I I went to jail, I was God. <laughs> I go in there and spit around. I got my whole box on this, and nobody could fuck like they just like when if you don't know me and you just listening, you gonna you gonna be like yeah that nigga cold cold. But if once you get to knowing me and all other man fuck dude he talk too much or. Uh, they be on, they, yeah. they, so that's how I, that's the kind of shit I had to deal with coming in. Right, and right. And then it was always a prove yourself thing. Like my first ten battles, you ain't battled nobody. You ain't hot. You ain't proved. You be him. He ain't nobody. So every battle, I'm doing more shit. Me and Great Britain. I mm -hmm. ain't even know I was finna battle this nigga. I had a battle ready for another dude. Me and him was finna have our first battle. Mm -hmm. Great Britain like ten, fifteen battles in when we battle. Are so, you battling Great Britain? Yeah. First? So I'm finna leave. Like my opponent ain't here. And I'm like, fuck that. I, anybody want to battle? They was like, Britain to battle you. And I'm like, man, I ain't trying to fuck that. I'm up there. Right. Because I don't think nobody really, nobody paying fucking with mine. It's just about how you get it out and all that kind of shit. Like, what happened with that battle? You got to watch it. I got to watch it? Yeah. Great Britain I, I versus definitely, the example. I'm going to be honest. I definitely won. But mm, okay. it was a, he thought he, it was a situation he was going to take advantage of. Uh -huh. So he came in on some bully type shit and stuff, and he know me. <laughs> so motherfuckers might see him put his arm around me in the battle and say a little part, and like, oh, he's, he's schooling, dude. Like, no, I knew this nigga 10 years before we was even battle. I knew this nigga since right, right. 20 years now type shit. So right. yeah, I know him. So it, he thought he was finna just school me, fuck me up, and he had already battled that night. He right. battled some other dude. So me and him had our battle. And that was the beginning of my career, like right there. Once I did that. That was your very first one? Yeah. Once I left Wait, that. your very first battle was with Great Britain? Yeah. <laughs> when I left the Great Britain battle, I had two battles booked. I wow. never battled before. I had a battle booked for the next card that was only like two weeks from this one. And I had one in Beloit with Tom Montana. He was just starting his battle league around that time. Man, you was. So I went out there. You then jumped did, off in the deep end. My first six months, I had like. 13, 14 battles. I was doing two but battles. I mean, and honestly, I can honestly say now that, you know, it ain't, I'm just looking at the the the, the level, you know what I'm saying, of yeah. battlers that they gave you for it to be your first one. Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And, you know, of course, you know, Great Britain got bars, but, you know, he was already, like you said, 15 in, and yeah. then you got to go and battle Tone. Tone was... No, I ain't battle Tone, too. Oh. I just battled Tone about a year ago now, not even a year ago. Oh, okay. But he, no, he, um, he was like, bro, you hot. I want you to come out to Beloit and battle on my car type shit. So I start going to Beloit and like, I'm like the, I battle more than any other battle rapper doing Beloit. Like right now, literally, like in the last like year or two, I didn't have more battles than any Beloit battle rapper. Like I'm the crowd favorite out there, all that. Like, really? Yeah, I go out, that's why me and Tom battle because it was a, it was like, nigga, I'm the king of Beloit. And I was like, this your city, but nigga, I battle here more than you do. And I'm wiping niggas out the way, you know what I'm saying? So right. me and him battle, it was a, you got to watch that one. I gave that one to him. He won that. So let me ask you a question, then. Who, who hands down, was your biggest battle where you just really had to, when I say bring your A game to a point where you had to sit back and really think about the the, the lyrics that you was going to be putting down, all that. Who, who hands down was your biggest battle? There's uh, so many of them. I was having to say. I put, I, I put, I say like three of them. Um, I say the clean battle, mm -hmm. the Adi Boom battle. And the Heartless battle. I say those three. Right. Because Heartless n has no performance whatsoever, but he got the best pin in the game to me besides JC. Like, oh, nobody okay. fucking with him. This nigga said, the caterpillar, I let the fire fly in sex. Like, shit like that. Like, who <laughs> say stuff like that? Yeah, his, no, he said, if it's Ladybug, the caterpillar, I let the fire fly in sex. That's what the nigga said um, to me. This okay. three, four years ago. Wow. So I wasn't ready for that shit. Yeah, man. yeah, that was a scheme for <laughs> but, you right there. Yeah, like, so them three battles, it was like, how the, how the hell do I approach these battles? And then Adi Boom, he just, Adi Boom complex, and he got the best performance in the battle rap game. Like, nobody performance was fucking with his. Right. He locked up free Adi Boom, but he had the best performance. They said he was writing for Surf and shit, so it's like, oh, how do you okay. battle this yeah. person? Right. And it was like, I knew I couldn't overperform him. So it's like a battle. I'm pleased with it. Because if you watch me, Adi Boom, on camera, bar for bar, pin game for pin game, I won. Performance, he won. Oh, okay. Definitely. Crowd-wise, like, right. you know, when people come to Milwaukee, the crowd go crazy. Right. They, they, 
like fuck dude he at home mm-hmm. we, we we ain't never seen dude so right right yeah right. that was that was a hard battle to do too he had the performance and shit and i had the bar so it was like in person it might be like oh, okay yeah he boom won that one but on camera it's like how did he win like right so it's, it always come down to, i like the on camera shit i that's why i got better in person too like right the clean and shit because it was like okay I, I win a lot on camera and shit but i need to entertain motherfuckers so right. that's well, when i, I started getting on that yeah stage presence is a big deal man you can't yeah, just get yeah. up there and be a yawner and honestly uh i ain't got nothing against the guys who battled on the card last week i do <laughs> hey, you know what? I tried to no bro, tell, no put, filter, I man. I put two dollars in the jukebox machine and tried to play toss it up while the niggas was rapping. They were not playing, bro. I was over there by the jukebox eating my food. Like I went to Tupac, put two dollars in it, and it would not play. I was like, they get it cut off. Like, hey, hey, look, I'm sitting up there recording it, man, and I'm just looking like dude. Went there with a cam on that that hey. toss it up after they hit it. Yeah, yeah, and you know what? Dying, honestly, though. everybody would have just went to, hey, you know what I'm saying? Because, look, that man. that would that, that would have been the pivotal moment, man, for man. the battle. You know what I'm saying? Because, firstly, <laughs> the first battle was, you know, Choke City. And then, you know what I'm saying, the second one was, you know, even worse. And then, like, wait, yeah, the first, because the first one was... Um, I ain't hear nothing until, like, P. Jesus. That's the only person besides our battle that I kind of heard that right. night. And the only reason I kind of heard P. Jesus because I know what he capable of doing. Like, right, you right. seen that battle when he had the fighting shit? Oh, with uh, D. Neek? Yeah, yeah, like, like shit boy. like that. Like, <laughs> so you got to watch P. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. And when he came in, I was listening. I was tuning in. But then he started fucking up, right? Right after he dissed you. I'm talking about where you see my recap. I had, look, and I told him, look, if you look at my recap, man, as a matter of fact, y'all need to go to my recap right now and then come back to this and make sure y'all comment and subscribe. Check this out, man. Yeah, when that happened, and I'm honestly, and you know, me being me, I'm 100% professional, man. I know that, you know, you can't take this stuff serious and get all mad. That's why a lot of cats, you know what I'm saying, is in the boat that they in now right. can't get booked and stuff like that because they in their feelings too much. You know what I'm saying? Right. This here is one of those things where you got to wear a thick skin. But I'm talking about man. I had to. I had to use everything that I could, man, in my in my entire being Not to, to just. Say and, I, and, and I'm recording him. He he's smashing me. I'm talking about dude roasted me real good, man. So you know what? Honestly, I just started thinking about it right then and there. And that man took my gun and put more bullets in it and gave it back to me. Yeah, because you got because <laughs> yeah, you got to think nobody's safe. Yeah, for That's real. That's why for when real. I used to um. Like, one thing a lot of people can vouch for me, like, it ain't nothing to brag about, but a lot of people can vouch for this. I, I don't bring females to battles, barely. Mm-hmm. If I bring a female to a battle, she's not going to be on stage. She's going to be way in the back. Mm-hmm. All kind of, like, right. I, don't, I don't bring nothing more personal than need to be brought to this battle that's already attached to it. Like, okay, I got my guys with me. Right. You see me on Facebook, I'm not going to you no more leeway because I take shit like that, like. My recent, like, if you watch me versus, like, Lexus Marie, that was a recent battle they dropped from um, Jack City Battle League. Right. I ran out of shit to say to her and got on her guys, like, who the hoes you brought with you? And, and they got it. Just was standing there behind her like this. I'm like, oh, yeah, that, three females behind her, all y'all getting it. Right. Oh, you talking, you getting it. Like, oh, so just, you're not putting yourself out there like that. You, can't, no, you ain't yeah. giving them fuel. Actually, yeah. Yeah. You Always been like that. Like, right. You ain't going to provide them with It have been a lot of little rumors. Like, he messed with such and such and such. I'll be like... No comment. I don't right, know nothing. Right. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, right, right. Okay. All that sh- that's fuel. So. Yeah. Right, right. But yeah, man. I, and, and just speaking on that that event in in a whole, man. You know, I just hate that. You know, people don't really support here in Milwaukee, man. They really right. need to start doing more. And I know that we got to kind of like do do something to you know get Milwaukee behind us 100 percent right. man in this battle rap thing. But I'm seeing it too ain't much. Never gonna, it ain't never gonna be like that because it's too much unity with the battle leagues and certain people fuck with certain people. So. That's the problem. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Nev- it'll never be like that. It is, and it's valid reasons. Like yeah. And so see, honestly, like, and, and that's one of the reasons why, man, I'm glad that I got you down here. If you notice, I done had people from Cartel, man, on my show. I done had people from Go Hard to Go Home on my show. And, of course, you know, I done heard different things from different people. You know what right. I'm saying? But people need to understand 100% I am 
one hundred percent out of the drama. Don't right. you know what? If you want to come on my show, you can say whatever you want to say about them, and that has absolutely nothing to do with me. There's no chill, no filter TV. Right. If you got something to say, say it, man. That ain't got nothing to do with me. But if somebody want to take it upon themselves to be on some, oh uh, yeah, man, I ain't messing with dude, man, because he messing with them. That's on them. Right. They, they the ones putting themselves out of. Right. But you got guys that's on this old, hey man, don't mess with dude because he did that. Hold up, man, he did that to you. You know right. what I'm saying? So right. if that's what you want to be on, then you be on that by yourself. Right. I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to build a brand right now but I'm not finna sit up there and do it at the at the at the at the risk of your integrity you know right, what I'm saying right. so if you want to do something come on down here man do your thing right. ain't, ain't gonna be no man I wouldn't have an example in my house why not why wouldn't you have dude at your house man as a matter right. of fact I need for you to answer that question and they wouldn't even be able to do it right you know what I'm saying not not without saying something that would turn me off from right. them Right. Man, stop playing, man. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what? I just feel that when it comes down to actual unity, everybody should be able to unify to a point where if Cartel do a show, everybody from the other battle leagues should come right. to that show and support it. You know what I'm saying? If right. Say Mercy do a show, everybody from those other leagues should come but to you that. Gotta, you got to think about it like this, too. It's a, I'm going to break it down a little bit. Go ahead. When I started off, I was by myself. It was just guns up. Eventually, I became Melee. I was fucking with Melee, um, Miz and them. Mm -hmm. But it got to, I was battling so much, my footage wasn't coming out on time. So here I am, I got four battles unreleased. And y'all putting out battles from this card, and I got battles from the card before, that card, the card after, and another card. So mm -hmm. it was a situation where I'm like, hold on, man, I got three, four battles unreleased at a time. And it stayed like that for like a year or two. I always had three or four battles that was unreleased at a time. Because right. I was battling so much. And I was telling them, like, use that to our advantage. Because I'm melee right now. So if you putting out all these battles as I do them, they like, damn, this nigga battling like that. But they didn't. the world didn't get to see it like that. Mm -hmm. They just got, okay, here go an example battle. A month later, here go another one. Here go two more. No, I put them out when they was when I was doing them motherfuckers. I'm doing two, three <laughs> battles a month. Right. Here you go, dropping a vixen battle from two events after that, and I battled on the card before that and her card. So it's like wow. y'all doing that. So then cartel, you know what I'm saying, start forming. Cartel only formed because of a um, it was a heat rock event. Mm -hmm. um, Ice was gonna um, vent, do a joint venue with um, heat rock. Right. It wasn't even no cartel yet. So we shot a cipher for the event before the event so all the battlers just gonna be on the car come to this location we shooting a cypher we shot a cypher everybody spit their bars and shit we had the heat rock event when the heat rock event came up um it was i don't like talking about t lou my nigga but <laughs> basically it was a situation of where we was like we keeping our footage we ended up investing some money to where it was like we're not just gonna give you this footage now Right. So John Doe was on the camera, best cameraman out right now. And this is his first time shooting right now. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Ice um, running the event, her and T. Lou. So at the end of the event, it came to a point where it was like, no, nah, we keeping this footage. Like, we put too much into it, so we started the cartel. Right. So they, we putting out our battles, we doing our thing. And the thing with Ice was, she was from beginning, 100. Niggas that didn't deserve money was getting paid. Right. Oh, you showed up, you did all right. Huh, here goes something. Well, everybody got something. Like, starting off here, here. Building relationships. So right, right. At the same time, beeping with, I'm kind of slightly beeping with Melee by my footage being involved in all this shit, and I'm waiting on battles to drop. People waiting on them, too, so they can book me. They want to hear what they done heard out of how to step my game up and shit taking all day. So I eventually was like, fuck that. I'm going to fuck with Cartel. I'm still Melee. So, like, the first cartel event, I was still Melee. Like, if you hear me on, I battle Jay Ack, right? I said, I run up with the AK, screaming out team, Melee, put it down, shoot the tray 80, left his bitch, she like weight base, some shit. I, said, <laughs> I was still team Melee at the time. Right, right. But it was like, okay, Will Dave was cartel now. He was the biggest battle rapper here. Right. He was cartel, and then there was a few other smaller people who weren't really no names there yet. But I fuck with Lil Dave hard. Like, me and Lil Dave always been cool. I wanted to battle him at a point, but then we got past that, and we was just like, let's just kill everybody. Right. So when he went there, that was really my my motivation. Like, yeah, I'm out of here. Y'all bought in battles. Lil Dave fuck with y'all. But he went over there. He knows something I don't know. And he the top nigga, so I'm going with Dave. So, you know what I'm saying? I joined Cartel, and basically this all the beef came. The melee beef. It came... It was, you know, people was going to cartel, 
like, okay, it's better opportunity They're getting us big names and woo woo. -woo. All you gotta do is stay down. They get you if you work hard enough, you're gonna get a big name. Right. So people start going over there seeing that. So it was a lot of talk, like people was like, Hey, we're not gonna show up to that event. Like me having meetings. Like, hey, 10, 20 deep, we're not going to go to their event, fuck them. they trying to take our battlers and shit like that. So wow. it was already tension between Melee and Cartel right there because we just now starting a league. So now words being passed. GE and John having words. G shot some threats at John. John like, nigga, you got to holler at me. It ain't no res resolution for this. So that been the sun that ain't been resolved right there for four, five, six years. Right there. Yeah. So that's Melee and Cartel beat. Right. Now we can go to Milltown Blow B. We did an event with Blow. Right. Blow, um, big car. He had, um, he had CT versus Daylight. Right. Daylight came yeah, out. Yeah. Milltown yeah. Blow had Daylight. And Daylight ten buck two Milwaukee. Wow. Yeah. So we had that battle. We had a joint event venue then. Again. Mm -hmm. People didn't have their money. So, being player, we like okay, y'all take y'all big battles. We gonna keep the rest of them. So that's how that went. So it was already tension there because it's like. Nigga, we did a joint venue. You didn't have the rest of your money for this, and you still want your footage and all that kind of shit separated. So, uh, so that's the Milltown Blow beef right there. Okay. So now let's go to the Dollar Sign beef. Nigga from What's Detroit, the dude from Detroit. Okay. Um, I don't know how it branched out, but I battled GA on the card, and we did a joint venue with them. Dollar Sign battle hundred K, and then it was a whole bunch of other battles. We did a joint venue basically right. for Dollar Sign birthday, a little event. I don't even remember how I got to the beat, but I remember them putting out a video, um, Dollar Sign, and then they put out a, like, rapping with no beat on, dissing John and Ice, and right. it wasn't just like, fuck Cartel and woo woo, it was like, when I catch that bitch, I'm a, woo woo, and like, shit like that, like, mm -hmm. violent shit, so it was like, that's the third beat, mm -hmm. so it was like, now, and then I had my own little beef with Mecca. That was some totally other different shit, but it's, then it's like, yeah, okay. so then it's like Midwest Alliance, who in Midwest Alliance? Miz, Blow, Dollar Sign, like, and then the other, I forgot the other dude's name, but he stole, like, when John first started doing the footage and started doing the effects on the cameras, right. dude did that, so we got on it, like, bro, like, what up, like, you ain't paying homage to give a nigga a shout out, nothing, you just see what a nigga doing and try to steal it, like, this is our style, don't nobody else do this, this is what we known for, right. and that's what, like, your mother was like, fuck, I do what I want to, and I've been doing that, and that <laughs> hadn't been doing it. So it was beef there. So like every oh member, goodness, everybody who's running the MWA has had beef with Cartel. And it wasn't like, no, well, we just don't like you. It was motherfuckers ain't had their money and wanted to do joint events or like shit like that. It was wow. it's nothing to where it's like, we just don't like them because they form in a different group. It was like, no, we not, y'all shysty. Y'all done did shysty shit with us. So oh, we don't man, fuck with y'all. And then, you know, they got new people coming in. It's, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm melee or I'm, I'm. You know what I'm saying? They claiming these clips. They don't even know that why they into it with motherfuckers. Like, y'all just like, they don't like y'all. I don't like y'all. I'm with them. Not even knowing you done chose the shysty nigga side. So we right. looking at you like, oh, we can't do business with him either because they shysty. He kicking with Amari, he shysty. So well, that's how a lot of it came about. Right. Well, I need to just clear the air on No Chill, No Filter TV. No drama, no sides taken, no nothing. If I deal with you, I deal with you. Please do not try to get me to take sides on nothing. I don't do it. No Chill, No Filter TV is an unbiased set, and that's how it's going to stay. No drama at all. If you into it with somebody, if it's that serious, please tell me about it, man, because I do not want to be in an event and somebody's going to come through and do something stupid. You know what I'm saying? I'm not with that. You know what I'm saying? I, if, if, if it's going to be some drama, I don't want to be in no situation where if it wasn't for your drama, I wouldn't have no drama. Right. So I just want to be no, I want to be drama free, you know what I'm saying? If I deal with somebody, it's because, hey, that's whatever beef he got with these people, man, look, they got, y'all got that beef with them. He ain't done that to me. I don't need nobody coming to me saying, hey, man, don't mess with dude because he'll do this and he'll do that. Look, understand something. Y'all did something. Y'all did a joint event. Y'all did what it is that y'all did. And whatever, whatever happened that made y'all fall out, that happened between y'all. Right. If anything happens with me and them, you ain't gonna even know about it. That's gonna be right. between me and them. Mm -hmm. It ain't gonna be no me jumping on the vlog, oh man, skip these dudes and skip them dudes. Mm -hmm. Look, Cartel ain't never did nothing to me. Midwest Alliance ain't never did nothing to me. Say Mercy ain't never did nothing to me. Define Range, Perfect perfect Mess, Art of War, all them cats, man, ain't nobody ever, and whoever they beefing with, I'm not beefing with them with them. 
You know what I'm saying? Whatever the case, man, that's between them. If Cartel want me to do something, I'll do it. If, if, if Midwest Alliance want me to do something, they got it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no problem with doing that. But just know, it ain't got nothing to do with me saying, oh, man, to hell with, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to mess with Midwest Alliance because they they beefing with, you know what I'm saying, Cartel. That'll never be. You know right. what I'm saying? My I, I need to leave my windows and that's the best way wide to open. You know that's, what I'm saying? That's right. the best way to do it. Not, like, fuck with everybody, but not, you know what I'm saying? Fuck with people like that. Like, because at the end of the day, like, joining up with somebody, all it's going to do is get enemies. Like, you right now doing right. your thing. Like, right. I ain't seen nobody say they don't like you. So, it's like, Pretty much. you're doing your own thing. So, Pretty it's much. like... Yeah, yeah, like that's but the I, best I, way but to do that I, shit. And, I, and you know what, just to touch on that for a second, man. I have got people came back to me. It's people that's doing things behind my back. But, the, look, I'm that dude that, man, if I got a problem with you, man, I'm I'm not finna say, hey, this is what I feel about the example. No, it's gonna be, hey, brother, this is how I feel about you. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it, it, it ain't gonna do nothing, but it, it's gonna form a bubble that's gonna continue to get big. Right. But you 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 need to be careful with that bubble that's getting big because you don't know where it's gonna pop. Right. And once it pop, dog, it's gonna get rough. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So obviously, if if you got a person that's that's especially when they come around, they don't like you, but they it's like they feel they forced to mess with you. You know what right. I'm saying? That's that's how that bubble starts just getting bigger and bigger. Right. You don't even know. You don't even know. You just oh hey, you still shaking my hand and all this old type of stuff. That's what I hate about, you know what I'm saying? Hitting drum. Right. The the cowards that that oh uh, yeah dog I ain't gonna tell dude I don't like him because right. you know it's probably something that he can do for me and you know I don't want to get choked to death right. or, or whatever the case you know what I'm saying but the bottom line is man you know what be a man whatever the case I'm not finna hold nothing to my chest man you don't live long like that you know what I'm saying and I ain't talking about okay man if look she cool as I don't know what beautiful daughter. If, if something happens, man, and bust a light or something like that, we're going to take care of that right then and there. It ain't going to be like, oh, it's all good. And then when they leave, <laughs> now I'm talking about it behind her back. That's exactly. that That's that conniving garbage, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Let it be known. I'm not going to sit up there and be around somebody I don't like. You, I'm not going to shake your hand if I don't kick it with you. And that's the thing about battle rap, too. Like, I be around a lot of people I don't like, but I let them know I don't like them. Exactly. Like, like people exactly. would be like... People be like, damn, he just called me as this or this PTA and disrespected their marriage. And I see them and be like, what's up? Like, it ain't fighting words, but I don't like y'all. Like, it, it be shit it like is. that. Like, if we get to a fighting stand, I won't, you won't see me at an event or two because I'm the type, like, it ain't just gonna be no, I seen him, he seen me, it was threats. And no, uh, something gonna happen and somebody gonna tell on me. So that's yeah. why I just leave it alone. Like, when I had the, and that's the whole maker situation, do. motherfuckers yeah. was. Talking about that, like he actually was talking about that. But I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I heard about that, and the way you know, you already know what people were saying, man. And it was, I ain't gonna lie, man. It was comical. I, I man, I was yeah. every time somebody talk about it, man, I'd be like, hold up, man. Y'all got to be like the same situation with Shooter and, and, and Hilltown Blow. You know what I mean? No, I wasn't like that. I, I, I know, like that. I know, but yeah, I know it got a little bit rougher. Yeah, but yeah. but they sit up there talking about you know, uh, you know, what I'm saying malfunctions and stuff like that. But I'm like, dog, okay. What y'all doing, though, is y'all talking about something, man, that, you know what I'm saying, that's kind of, like, personal, though. You know what I'm saying? I would never, we'll never got, discuss that here bro, because... It got to, it done got to points where I had to, motherfuckers had to, I'd be outside events and motherfucker in the car had to, I had to listen to Reeves. I'm like, bro, these motherfuckers <laughs> don't give a fuck about you. You been to go in here, you been to do this, you been to go to jail, you got another baby on the way. Like, it, it was situations like that with that, so... I'm proud to say I talked to Mecca about a week ago, mm -hmm. and we basically kind of, we got it to the level to where it's not like, we we not buddy-buddy, but I see what he doing and what he trying to do with his life, and he kind of, you know, we both more aware now, so we had the conversation, we was like, bro, we gonna do something, we from the same hood, right. we meet up, we go in the backyard, we do this shit, we ain't got to do this shit for the, these niggas entertainment, because they not paying for it, Exactly. I said, if they want to pay for some entertainment from us, Tell them to pay both of us to battle, to get on stage without throwing physical punches in battle. Like that's only that's the only way a motherfucker gonna get any more entertainment out of that situation. Cause right. it was it was to the point where motherfuckers like, bro, you you damn near gotta kill dude when you see him <laughs> again. Like they it's, they think it's a game. Like and yeah. I'm like and, and I'm wait, sitting there wait, mad. Wait. Like I can't even yeah. do what I want to do. Like, but here's yeah. the thing: people need to understand. It's more people affected than just the battle rapper. Right. Just like with Chris Kane, when all this stuff happening. 
he ain't the only person. You know what I'm saying? Right. Look, I'm I'm big cuz. So every time I see something, I'm like, I can't, I can't. Of course, I'm not finna jump on the. Yeah, you, you gotta know kind of separate like yeah, battle rap and real. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? But you know, of course, you know, it was it was to a situation where you know I had to talk to him and stuff like that, and I'm like, man, look, you don't want to have to make this decision because what you need to understand is, and that's what I love about my people. They know not to call me if it ain't really, really, really. Right. So if I get a phone call, I know, like, oh, man, okay, what's what's really going on? You know what right. I'm saying? And, of course, you know what, man, I got too much to lose. You know right. what I'm saying? So if it's something petty, man, I'm going to holler at him, like, look, man, this here's what's going on. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Whatever the case. Now, of right. course, you know, there's certain things that you can't overlook. You know what I'm saying? But when you get to stuff like that, man, yeah, that's the stuff that you kind of keep off to the left where, you know what I'm saying, you keep that to your chest, and then, you know, you kind of have a little group meeting, and then, you know, you, you, you come up with what it is that you're going to come up with. But the stuff that I'm seeing right now, man, is, is to a point where I'm OG, man. I'll be like, dog, what is these dudes thinking about? Right. How dare you sit up there and come on Facebook like, yeah, man, next time I see dog, I'm a bloom, 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 bloom. Right. Understand something. Okay, now you just said this in front of a gajillion people. Right. And it ain't even the gajillion people that you said it in front of. It's them handful that saw that. Right. You know what I'm saying? So now, if this dude fall down the steps, man, to break his neck, they're going to be at you your door. <laughs> hey, hey, can you come with us for a second? We got some questions for you. But I was just in the, I don't care where you was. Just just come on with us for a minute. Turn around. And, and, and you know, that, that's what I just never understood. But what people need to understand is, man, there's people out here that do stuff in real life. And, and, and when I, I mean gangsters already know. People who do stuff in real life know exactly what I mean when I say that. So what people need to do is they need to determine the difference between battle rap and reality. You know what I'm saying? Okay, if you want to be on battle rap, I done seen some, some serious stuff. That's the reason why I tell everybody I can't do battle rap because I can't do the closeness. I can't right. do, you're not finna put your hand on my head like that. That's not, right. you're not finna be yeah. mushing my face. If right. you do, because that's when it's going to get personal. You know what I'm saying? And look, it ain't me saying that I'm the toughest man on earth, but I just know how I am. So I will just distance myself right. from that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Look, same thing. Look, I promise you, when I had to really just get off into a mode when PG's has done me, I'm just looking like, <laughs> and, but it's funny because I'm like, he getting me. He getting right. me. I'm like, well, I've never been got like this. He oh, getting yeah. me. They I'm come like, with that right. Yeah, he getting me. Oh, that shit. <laughs> he getting me. That's, that's and I ain't even 50. Right. That's when something. That part, right. I think you're that's something. You everybody do. had to. Everybody that been through that and had to, had to realize what was going on. I remember when, cause I, I've been around. With, I've been with cartels since they started. Right. I remember the first time somebody sh took a shot at Ice. Mm. That's the most gangsterous person in battle rap. <laughs> she was ready. We yeah, we finna be out. So I'm like no, like we had like yeah. this is battle rap. Right. Like, yeah, she alone. was furious. Yeah. Like I'm finna call yeah. somebody. Like get real personal. Yeah, like and people so that don't battle know. rap, you know what I'm saying? Like when it when people start taking shots at you and shit, and they battle rapping, right? You gotta be like, okay, I'm a fan of this or I'm doing this, right. so I gotta accept it too. It, and it's just like you you gotta learn to live with it, like because motherfuckers is gonna come at you if you're big enough or. Something like that. Right, and with Ice, right. like she was just, we was going to the top, like right. real fast, because right. we start booking like our first, not our first big battle, but one of the bigger battles, like we had did Danger Zone and um, Newborn. Mm -hmm. And then after that, it was just Clips, JC, battles like that, like just big ass battles, like right, right. Arsenal and Clean, like shit like that. We done brought everybody here. You can pretty much, only people that ain't been in Milwaukee is Lux, Hollow to Don, and I can't even really think of nobody else that ain't been here. We didn't have right. everybody here. Well, and the okay. people that overseas, so it was like people start taking taking them shots. Like every event, somebody either diss Black Ice or, or you catch you slipping on Black Ice and all that kind of shit. Yeah, oh yeah, I saw that. I, I, who, bro, who said that? Bro, I heard that. Who said that? I, 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 I somebody, heard that like twice. Brick said that to me. I can name like no, 15. I heard that like twice. Brick though. said it to me, but I can name fifteen people that just said it to me. Fifteen yeah, different you battles. On black ice. Yeah, like, you like, can be like a John like, Doe and yeah, 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 stuff like that. I yeah, heard yeah. that about fifteen times in my yeah, battle. Right? I, I done heard that actually twice. I don't. I forget who. I know. Yeah, you, Bricks did say it, but I heard it before then. Yeah. yeah I, like a no, no. Hmm? no, it ain't a no. No, no it's no, just no. it's just obvious. It's just it's a shot. Like, okay, I'm black. I'm with Black Ice Cartel. Every battle or the battle me. So it's only yeah. right I catch you slipping on black ice and like everybody it's like that right. is oh, okay. that's like it's too obvious. Yeah, it's yeah. just a scheme. And I heard about ten, fifteen times myself. Not right. even the other battlers. So it's like when I hear that bar I, I kinda turn my head or I, I don't even listen no more. Right. 
Okay, well, you know what? This stuff turned into just a, a cold, like, man, in your business. We wanted to hear everything. We'll mess around. We're going to have to do a part two yeah, to this. Yeah, I come back. Oh, yeah, hey, yeah, so yeah. check this out, man. Before we wrap this up, I got a question for you, man. I We were just speaking before the uh, vlog, man, and you said something about um, you battling Great Britain again, or is that in the workings, or is that yeah. something that's going to happen? It's, yeah, I could talk about it because by the time this drop, right. the car to be out. Okay. I'm the last bat. That was basically he hit me and he was like, "He who? Um, John Doe." Okay. Um, he was basically um, and I was like, "Did he ask for me?" But he was like, right. "We done with the car. Let me know before I drop it. Do you want to get on here?" And I was like, "You know, what I'm saying like with the Great Britain. I was like, uh, that was my first battle. I really don't want to battle, dude. But then it was like, I see why John want to do it. So I, hey, once I thought about it, I said, "Give me a second. Let me think about it." I took a shower, I hit him right back like, you know what, if you want to see it, we, we go. Because I already know why John want to see it. John, like, he like performance and aggression so he can put the effects with it and shit. Like, he wants somebody that's going to bring the best out of his camera material, you know what I'm saying? And right, right. Them the kind of battles you need, even if I just do my thing and Britain don't. Britain aggressive, so right, this right. gonna be a it's gonna be an intense battle. Right, it's gonna and be that, a performance period. Yeah, and it's that gonna be a show. and that complements his footage. So it was like, if you want me to do it, I'll do it. Like other than that, I don't want to do it. But in a way, I think it's gonna be fun because the first time I battled Great Britain, neither one of us was prepared for each other. And that was your very first battle. Very first battle. I had okay. a, I was supposed to be battling this dude named Guns or something. I forgot his name, and I had all bars for him, and I had to take them out and switch their names and this is my first battle and people can do that when you've been battling right right i wanted to battle so bad though i was mm -hmm. like fuck that when i get to a part where his name in i'm gonna just cut it off and jump to something else or switch the name if i can and i was just doing that because i wanted to get that footage so it was like once you get that first battle you own right second battle i battled killer b we put out a classic then I, it just went from there. Oh, okay. Like, me and B came around the same time, but Killer B, he disappeared for a little while, probably like a year or so. Mm. And while he was gone, I was I was getting in battles. I was, right. So then B came back, and niggas was just like, man, he all right. But, and I was telling niggas, like, dude, get dude. Hey, Killer and Killer B, the see though. And this is what I told John. I said, John, I ain't never battled nobody and felt like I felt when I battled this nigga. Like, when I battled this <laughs> nigga... <laughs> The first time I battled him, I was I'm gonna fuck dude up. Right. But the battle was so close. If you watch our first battle, it was so close. Nobody could, you you could say either person win won and you wouldn't be lying. Right. The second battle though, when we battled at the last man standing, it was like we came in, I seen all the contestants, I said, please, anybody but this nigga. <laughs> Let us battle last. Let him get beat before we get to the finals. Right. First battle, example versus Killer B. Was you fucking serious? Mm. The two best battlers. But I took what I knew. That's the one that was over at Nostalgia's. Yeah, I took what I knew though when I won that. Because um, I was like, he got the bars. I right. probably can't hang with him in bars, but I rap faster than him. So I can say just as many bars because I rap quicker than him. Right. And I can perform better than him. So right. I outperformed him. He had a little stumble and I won. And oh, then I ended okay. up going on to the next round and I battled um, Mecha Milo. And that's when the paperwork and shit came out. And yeah, I remember that one. That was painful. Yeah, that, man, they was talking about that on URL radio. Yeah, everywhere. that was that was rough. That was yeah, that that was that was rough right there, man. Um, that okay. was crazy. Look, too. you know what? <laughs> hey, you know what? As a matter of fact, you gonna have to come back and recap. Did you see? You know, I got a vlog, man, on the Last Man Standing, right? You do? Yes, I do. I never seen it. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Um, I, I was out there recording for the Last Man. Well, I was. Oh. I did my. I was. I had this little talk show that I had, man, called in real life. I've been doing this for a long time, man. Yeah. And um, I had. I interviewed Great Britain. I interviewed uh, Mecca Malo. Um, and then I went in and I caught a little little bit of um, the clean paper in uh, um, Chris, Chris Kane, Kane battle. Um, but of course the camera went dead on me because you know I wasn't familiar with the battery life on my situation. So right. that's why I got it plugged up as you can see. <laughs> but yeah, check this out, man. I definitely appreciate you being here, man. I'm just going to give shots out, man, to all those that out there, that's out there doing it, man. For real, for real, man. And check this out, man. Hey. I'm I'm just I'm I'm falling in line. I'm keeping it real with y'all. I'm falling in line with you know the 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 bloggers and vloggers. You know what I'm saying? If I do do an event, everybody gonna know about it, man. And it's gonna be a lit event. And I'm definitely gonna need help with that. I, I'm not sitting up here saying that I don't need help. I just gotta be careful with who I ask for help. You right, know what I'm saying? Right. So check this out. Black Ice Cartel, keep doing y'all thing. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got no hate over here. Whatever you need from me. 
I got you. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is that y'all want to do, holler at me. I got you. Midwest, Midwest Alliance, y'all already know. We we rock together. You know what I'm saying? I mess with Milltown Blow. I mess with Miz the Great. You know what I'm saying? On a personal level. So y'all already know that we cool. Say Mercy Battle League. You already know what the business is, man. The Fine Range, Pen Gang, all you cats, man. Y'all just go ahead and keep doing what it is that y'all doing. Because for real, for real, it's really all about unity. We can't do it by ourselves. Right. Ain't no, ain't nobody out here made made it big, man, alone. You can't do it alone. I don't care if you start off with a gajillion dollars. You will never make nothing without hiring help. I don't care what the case is. So, man, I want to thank you for coming on, brother. You know what I'm saying? You didn't have to do this, but I'm definitely glad that you did. I know it took a minute, but, you know, I got you down here. Tell these folks who he is again, man, and talk to him for a second. Oh, yeah, it's the example. Guns up is a logo. Free my nigga JoJo Cartel. How, um, you can catch me on, you know, Facebook, the example Guns Up. The example 414 on Instagram. Sna uh, Big Money Guns Up 6 on um, Snapchat. And I got the website, theexample.com. So. That y'all gonna see some No Chill, No Filter on. Yeah, yeah, check me out on there. <laughs> and also, I was gonna say with the website, anybody got something they want promoted and all that kind of stuff, just hit us up. You can hit him up too, because I was going, um, I'm a, he gonna help me run the page, kind of. Just hit us up, you know what I'm saying? We'll get y'all on there, free promotion. We're not charging niggas or nothing like that. Sure. We're just trying to, I'm trying to expand. So the Support. more people I can bring in, you know what I'm saying, the more people gonna look at this shit, so. Yeah, that's pretty much a unity thing. That's why I did it. I gave it my name, of course. For sure. Like, for sure. No, you got to keep I, that. Yeah. Take some credit. Take some <laughs> that's credit. Up. On the example.com, the mixtape coming out next month. It's already done. I'm just like TP2 finishing some shit finna, You finna be on some? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I pretty much just named it. I kind of just named it after the website. And it's kind of like my last... This is gonna be like my last, like, real, like, just street nigga mixtape. Like, after that, I'm gonna work on the album and I'm gonna be on some more, like, intelligent shit, basically. Cool, cool. So, cool. this is the last one for the trappers and the hoes. After that, it's for the <laughs> entrepreneurs and the ladies. That's so, okay. that's what I'm gonna do. Cool, that's <laughs> what's up. And you know what? As y'all can see, that's what the OG done geared itself towards. Party and you know what I'm saying. I love my party music. That's the reason why. That's what I'm bringing. And I will have a um, um, video shoot coming up. As a matter of fact, in two weeks, once Big Bro get back with me, I'll let y'all know about that. You know what I'm saying. Hopefully, we'll be week out the next. Um, so, with that being said, man. Also, you know we got beautiful models. You know what I'm saying. This is just two of the lovely representatives right here for No Chill No Filter TV, and I'm so glad that they are supporting. The movement, it is definitely going down. Uh, we was in the middle of a shoot, but of course I had to get my man on the vlog. So don't forget to get out and get y'all some. I like cucumber effing, but I mean. I ain't gonna lie, that shit valid. It's, it's yeah, nice. Never had it. Yes, yes. The cucumber effing is mm -hmm. the business. I mean, when I very first tasted it, I was like, this here is what I'm going to be drinking. That's it. Put you a couple of olives up in that situation, man, and you can lay back and chill. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? So. With that being said, you know what? We're going to start from my back left here since she ain't want to be seen. I'll let <laughs> so, her. you already know what it is. It's a LaVisco Miss Beauty, the model. Mm. So, we finna end this right here on No Chill, No Filter. And once again, y'all already know, I just wanted y'all to hear the words of the Hooverboard man. That's my <laughs> name for them. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know who he is. And I just like the way he do his interest on that Hooverboard. So, oh, yeah. you know what I'm saying? No Chill, No Filter. <laughs> That's what's up. And of course, we got the beautiful who? Black Widow. Yeah. No chill, no filter. Sign it off. Yes, sir. Okay, y'all already know what it is around here, man. Um, I, we, we, we covered a whole lot, and I hope we ain't put nobody in their feelings. And if we did, you know how we feel about feelings around here. So no if chill, them, no filter. That's what's <laughs> up. No chill, no feelings. So, hey, <laughs> check this out, man. Um, if you're in your feelings, I guess you're going to have to stay in them. You know what I'm saying? So until next time, you can stay upset. Hey.